New tonight at 11, a short trip to a cavern in East Tennessee is likely to leave a lasting impression. It's a fascinating spot underneath the Smokies. And as News 13's Rex Hodge reports, Tuckalichi Caverns is an epicenter for the U.S. government as well. Watch your step, guys. Leonard and Vicki Lacey are a long way from their New Zealand home and at Tuckalichi Caverns in Townsend, Tennessee. Oh, this is impressive. A long way down into the earth. Yeah, I've been in a few caves around the world, and this is probably one of the best ones I've been in. The Tuckalichi Cavern history. Peaceful or green valley from the Cherokee or Woodland Indian. In the veins of Benjamin Venanda, his grandfather. He used to play in it when he was six year old. A World War II veteran, opening it up as an attraction in 1953 a place estimated at 20 to 30 million years old. Fascinations of the past found sealed in time. Everything from, you know, prehistoric animals and mammals, uh, mastodon teeth. And rock formations. Well, the canyon walls are 150 feet high. That defy depth perception. A formation that's on the left, it looks like a big pencil. Guys, that's over 22 feet tall. These huge cavern walls resonate. And that's the same principle of an earthquake. It vibrates all through the limestone. The vibration so true the U.S. government tucked high-tech seismic equipment deep in the cavern, able to detect disruptions in the ground. Local quakes reading out in the lobby display immediately. Missile tests across the planet recorded too. Just a few minutes will occur if there is a nuclear test in North Korea. With a nuclear blast, the line will look straight up and down and then they triangulate to be able to determine exactly where the epicenter or the nuclear blast was. Fernandez says information from North Korea missile tests, recent ones as well, is beamed via satellite to government operations in Europe. So one registered a 5.3 and the other registered a 6.3, both larger than Nagasaki or Hiroshima. Venanda says the information keeps flowing, like the creek slicing out the tallest subterranean waterfall in the country and these majestic underground spaces. We can just about build a football stadium in it. A naturally carved listening post, aiding in national defense with modern technology while shedding light on ancient formations for visitors dropping by. How old they are and how they were created so long ago and they're still here for us to enjoy is just amazing. I just thank you to everybody. In Townsend, Tennessee, Rex Hodge, News 13. Fernanda says the U.S. government compensates him to maintain the seismic equipment hardware. Other than that, the caverns receive no other compensation from Uncle Sam.